everyone. I have a beginner friendly Pilates class for you today that focuses in on the shoulders. Now, if you just found this video through search, a heads up, it is part of a larger intro to Pilates video series. If you're interested in that, I would recommend doing it sequentially. I've linked the welcome video below and you can start there. It'll explain everything. If you're not interested in the whole series and you just want to do a quick Pilates class focused on the shoulders, that is cool too. And we can jump right in. Now for equipment, you're just going to want a dish towel. A note though, if you have limited shoulder mobility, a dish towel may not be long enough and you may want to use a yoga strap or a belt or just something a little longer so that you can have your hands a little more separated. That is going to make it easier for the shoulders. Okay. So we will hold it throughout, but we won't right off the bat. So let's start with our warm up and you can be in a kneeling position or if this is uncomfortable, you can elevate your hips on a pillow or you can sit cross-legged. We're going to start by warming up the shoulders and we're going to on an exhale, just shrug the shoulders up to our ears, have your arms down by your side. So inhale to prepare. As we exhale slowly out through the mouth, engaging through our abdominals, you're going to slide those shoulders up towards your ears. And as you inhale, just let them glide down elevating the scapula and then lowering them. So we're not just thinking of the tops of our shoulders shrugging up and down. I want you to think about the shoulder blades on your back gliding up and gliding down. Give me just one more. And then from here, I want you to reach those arms forward, their shoulders distance apart. We're going to retract and protract the shoulder blades. So they were just sliding up and down. Now they're going to slide wide across our back and then in towards each other. So let's start by retracting them. On your exhale, you're going to glide the shoulder blades in towards each other. And then as you inhale, they're going to glide wide towards your armpits as the arms reach forward. So we see the arms moving, but think about where that movement is originating with our shoulder blades on our back. So to show you from the back as we do this, they glide in towards each other. Exhale. They glide wide as you inhale. One more. And then let's rotate through the scapula. We're going to do upward, downward rotation. So I want arms down by our side, palms face forward. And we're just going to kind of make snow angels. You're going to sweep the arms up overhead and down. Keep going. I'm just going to turn around to face you. So those are the six movements of our scapula, our shoulder blades. They can elevate and depress. They can retract and protract, and they can upwardly rotate and downwardly rotate. The scapula move in connection with our arms. Oof. Now give me one more like this, then we're just going to turn it into arm circles. So now from here, I want you to reach the arms forward, up, down, and around. I want you to be mindful as you do these arm circles that you're not flaring through the front of your ribs and arching into your lower back. Okay. So we don't compensate through the spine. We keep the movement within that shoulder joint, the arm bone rotating in that ball and socket joint, switch direction in your circles. We're going to grab the towel up next. Circle for three two, last circle. So now we're going to grab the ends of the towel and you're going to keep tension on it. Like you're gently trying to pull it apart, leading with that outer pinky edge of your hand. Let's start with just some shoulder sweeps. So we're going to sweep the towel overhead and you're going to lower it down. Now we're being mindful of compensations. As I've mentioned, we tend to borrow mobility from the spine if we can't get it from the shoulders. So what I do not want to happen is I don't want you to reach the arms overhead, flare through the ribs, arch into your back. I would rather you don't lift the arms up as high and just stop when you can no longer move through the shoulders. So the front of our ribs stay quiet. We're engaged to the core as we sweep up and down. Give me two more and then you're going to hold that towel overhead. Next time the arms go overhead, you're going to hold them overhead. We're open through the chest, brought across those collarbones. So we're going to side bend on an inhale. I want you to grow tall and side bend up and over to the right. Now on an exhale, I want you to rotate from the mid spine, chest kind of down towards the floor. Inhale, come out of that rotation. Exhale, bring it up to the top. Same thing over to the left. Inhale, side bend. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, square off. Exhale back up tall. Keep going side to side like this. 
So the rotation is coming from your mid spine, your thoracic spine, and then the arms are just following, okay? So it's a small movement. You're not rotating through the arms, dropping the towel. It's that control through our mid spine that creates the movement, and the arms are just following. Just one more to either side. Last time. And now we're gonna go back to the sweep, but we're gonna add in a lat pull. So I want you to lower the towel down. It should feel nice to lower the arms. Sweep it back up. Now at the top, I want you to bend the elbows, and I want you to pull that towel down behind your back without flaring the ribs. I want you to reach it back overhead and sweep it down. Now, if you lack the shoulder mobility to get it behind your head without flaring the ribs, then I want you to pull it down in front of you instead of behind the head, okay? Lower it down. So we sweep, cactus the elbows. My hair clip's in the way. I should know better than to wear a big hair clip on the back of my head for this one. So coming up, we are gonna keep the same combination of movements going, the sweep with that pull, but we're gonna do it in a hinged position, just challenging our mid back a little more. So next time those arms sweep down, I want you to pause and we're gonna lift our bum off of our heels coming into a hinge position. So I want you to slide the hips back. Now, instead of sitting down, they're hovering over the heels. We have a long spine, we're open through the chest, pull gently out on that towel, okay? So pinky edges of your hands pulling outward. Same combination of movements. The arms reach overhead. We cactus the elbows, bringing that towel behind our back, behind our head. <laughs> You're not getting it all the way behind the back. Reach the arms forward and lower down. Now I want you to notice as you pull the towel down, are you jutting your head forward? I don't want that, okay? So think length of the back of the neck. This is challenging our shoulder mobility. I gotta take my hair clip out so I can actually do this. There we go. <laughs> Make sure you're not flaring open through the front of the ribs. All the things we've been talking about, <sighs> challenging here. Really connected to our mid back. You can't talk about the shoulders without talking about the mid back because the mid back is where our shoulder blades live. <sighs> Give me two more. <sighs> Last time. And this time when you reach those arms back overhead, just hold them, okay? Reach the tailbone back, length through the back of the neck, long through the spine, engage through your core. Can you lift the arms one inch higher without flaring the ribs, move through your shoulder joint. Ooh, hold four, three, two, one. Awesome job. You can put the towel off to the side for now and just give me a couple shoulder circles, shrugging them back. And then switch direction, bringing them forward. All right, so we've talked a lot about controlled movement and mobility through the shoulder. Now we're going to talk about stability through the shoulder. So we're gonna do a little bit of modified side plank work. I am just gonna put my hair back. So I want you to mirror me. Let's come down on our right forearm. And we're going to get ourselves in alignment so that your elbow, your hips, and your knees are in one long line. So I am open through the front of my hips here, feet are back, knees, hips, elbow, one long line, okay? Now, very important in this shoulder position, we're not sinking down into it. Your shoulder isn't up by your ear. I want you to think, push the floor away. You're lifting away from the floor. This is the stable shoulder position you want for plank work. So we're gonna start by just lifting those hips. Knees are gonna stay down. So I want you to exhale, engage to the core, lift those hips up. Inhale, lower them back down. Keep moving like that. Exhale, lift up and lower. Keep pushing the mat away, challenging that shoulder. So when you lower the hips down, don't sink down. We're staying really lifted. Hips up and lower. Just three more times, then we're gonna hold. Next time you lift up, you hold. So you wanna make sure you're not rolling open through the hips. So you might have to pull the top hip forward, really lift those hips up towards the ceiling, push them out away, stable through the shoulder. Challenging that bottom shoulder stability, also the obliques, we got a lot going on, more than the shoulder, but working here. Hold for four, three, two. I want you to lower the hips down, push yourself up, take a quick counter stretch. So you're gonna sweep that right arm up and over. We're gonna do that one more time on the same side, okay? 
So let's come back down. Right forearm plants, push the mat away. Let's get in alignment. Knees, hips, elbows. We're brought across the collarbones, stacked. Hips are stacked. And on an exhale, we lift the hips. And on an inhale, we lower. Just three more and then we hold. Next time up you hold. Stable shoulder position, push the floor away. Stack through the hips. We're done on this side, we'll take it to the other side next. I know side plank work is so challenging. Hold four, three, two, one, lower the hips down, press yourself up. Let's take that counter stretch. And then we're gonna swing the feet around and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So now your left forearm is going to come down. We'll get in that same alignment. So elbow, hop your hips forward, knees, feet are back, square the hips. We're not sinking down, you're pushing the mat away. And on an exhale, you're going to lift those hips up. Inhale, lower down. As you lower the hips down, you don't sink down into the shoulder. Three more and then we hold. Next time up, you hold that side plank. Hips are square. We push the mat away, so we're very active here, lifting away from the mat, open across the chest. Now we're holding the position, but we're not holding our breath, so make sure you're breathing through this. Give me four, three, two, one. Lower the hips down. You can use the right hand to push yourself up. Let's counter stretch, left arm up and over. And now it's normal to notice differences between the sides. We tend to have a dominant side. We may have some imbalances in one shoulder versus the other. Let's come back down for round two. Left forearm on the mat, get in that alignment, elbow, hip, knees, square the hips. And on an exhale, we press the mat away, hips lift up. So because we tend to have differences between our right and left side, it's so important to incorporate what's called unilateral work, like what we're doing now where you focus on one side at a time, along with the bilateral work where, every, where both sides work at the same time. Just helps you address any weaknesses or differences. Three more, you have one final hold and then you're done with your side plank work. Next time those hips go up, you're gonna hold. Hips are square, push them out of way, stable through the shoulder. It's a beginner friendly class, but it's not easy. I wanted there to be some challenging parts. Hold for four, three, two, one, I want you to lower the hips down, press up, let's take that counter stretch, left arm sweeps up and over. Okay, so for our last portion of class, we're gonna come into a prone position. So we're gonna want our dish towel. This time we're gonna use it as padding under the forehead though. So you wanna fold it into a square. I have a pretty big nose, so I like to fold it into a rather big square. We're gonna have it under our forehead so that we can rest our head down on the mat without it smushing our nose, okay? And then we're gonna come down to lay on our stomach. So I want your legs to be about hips distance apart or maybe even a little wider. We're gonna keep them down the whole time. We're really gonna focus in on the upper body. Am I gonna have enough space? Yeah, I think so. As we've been talking about, you can't talk about shoulders without talking about the mid back, okay? So we are going to challenge both in this final series. So I want you to rest your forehead down on your pad, length through the back of the neck, and we're going to make sure that we stay engaged through the abdominals so we're not sinking our lower back down, okay? We're gonna really more focus on the mid back. So abdominal engagement is gonna hold that pelvis in the right position. Now I want you to bend your elbows and put the forearms down. They'll probably split the mat or be a little wider than the mat. And from here, on an exhale, we're gonna brace through the core, 
And then you're just going to do a reverse fly, lifting your right arm up off the mat and focusing on gliding that shoulder blade into midline. Inhale, lower it down. Exhale, take it over to the other side. So your forehead is staying down as you do this. Where the arm is lifting and lowering, but really focus on where the movement is originating, your shoulder blade. One glides into midline, lowers down, other side. Now you can stay here alternating one at a time, or if you want a challenge, we can take it to both arms together, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. As I exhale, I'm going to feel that brace of the abdominal wall. Both arms are going to lift up, gliding the shoulder blades into center. Inhale to lower them. Three more. Last time, and then we're going to keep those forearms down on the ground. So now keeping the forearms down on the ground, on an exhale, we're going to come up into spinal extension. Your forehead comes off the pad, and then you're going to inhale and lower down. The forearms stay down on the mat for support. Now this lift is coming from your mid spine. Think base of the shoulder blades. It is not coming from your lower back. So the lower back stays neutral and supported by our abdominal engagement. The lift is from the mid spine and up. We don't crane the neck, okay? So your gaze will shift forward a little bit, but just towards the front edge of your mat. You're not looking at the wall in, in front of you, okay? So keep length through the back of the neck. Think long and up as if you could grow taller before you lift off of that dish towel. Two more, and then we are gonna hold in the extension. Next time up, you're gonna hold in the extension. Now level one, you just hold here. Level two on an exhale, your right arm lifts up. You do that little reverse fly. Inhale, lower it down. Exhale, other side, gliding the shoulder blade into midline and down. So this is level two. You would stay here alternating one arm lifting up, elbow stays bent, then the other. Level three, both arms are going to lift together, okay? Exhale, they both pull away and lower down. I only want you doing this one if you can do so without dumping into your lower back, okay? If you're just feeling this in your lower back, go back to one at a time or just hold with both forearms down, okay? If you're doing both together, though, we have four. Three. Last two. Last time, lower the forearms down, lower down one cheek to the mat, bend the knees, and just windshield wiper them side to side to get some release through the back. All right, so we're gonna do one more set. We're gonna challenge our shoulder mobility a little more this time around though, okay? So I want those legs back long, about hips distance apart, or maybe a smidge wider if that helps you keep it out of your lower back. And then this time I want you to reach your arms forward overhead, not too narrow, okay? Shoulders distance apart or even a little wider if you're tight to the shoulders. And I want pinky edge of your hand down on the floor, okay? Forehead on that dish towel, brace through the abdominal wall. We're just gonna lift one arm up at a time, same way we started, but with straight arms instead of bent. So you're gonna exhale, feel that brace of the abdominal wall, reach long through your right arm and lift it up to a hover, lower it down other side got to push this chair away. <laughs> You're only lifting the arm up as high as you can without compensating, okay? So it may just be an inch or two off the ground. This is tough, especially if you're tight through the shoulders. Now you can stay here going one arm at a time. If you want to make it harder, though, we can do both arms together. Completely up to you, okay? Uh, if you're doing both arms together, on the exhale, feel that abdominal brace. Both arms lift up. Now, if you can't keep the abdominal engagement when you lift those arms up, go back to just doing one at a time, okay? This is hard.
whether you're alternating or doing both together, four more. Last time, lift up, lower down. So pinky edges of your hands are down on the ground. Now on an exhale, you're gonna cactus the elbows. So as you exhale, you're gonna lift them off the ground and you're gonna bend them back. Think of sliding your shoulder blades together and down your spine. And then as you inhale, you're gonna reach the arms forward, pinky edge of your hand returns to the ground. Exhale, cactus and pull them back. Our forehead is still down. Inhale, reach them long. Now, you can stay exactly like this, keeping your forehead down on that towel. If you want to try advancing it, then as you exhale and pull the elbows back, you're going to lift up into your low spinal extension. Forehead comes off the towel. As you inhale and reach the arms forehead, for, forward, <laughs> your forehead returns. If this is too much, keep your forehead down, okay? Just do the arms. Four more. Open across the chest. Start with the exhale. Feel the brace of your abdominals before you lift up off the ground, okay? Twice more. Last time and you are going to hold it. So you're gonna cactus those elbows, draw them back. Maybe you come up into the extension. Maybe you keep your forehead on that pillow. We're reaching long through the top of the head. Don't dump into your lower back. Keep that abdominal connection. You're kind of balancing on your bottom ribs. You're here for four, open through the chest. Three, two, one. Forearms lower down, other cheek lowers down. Bend the knees, windshield wiper them. Awesome job today. So that is your class. You can push the towel off to the side. I'm going to bring you through a quick cool down. So I want you to send your legs back out straight. Your right arm goes out to the side. Tent your left fingertips, bend your left knee, and then let's kick that left foot up and over, coming into a twist. So we get a nice opening across the front of that right shoulder and chest. Coming through center, let's do the same thing the other side. So your left arm is gonna go straight, right fingertips tent, bend your right knee, kick it up and over. Coming through center, I want you to bring your hands under your shoulders and you're gonna press yourself up, keep your knees down coming into a tabletop position. We're gonna thread the needle, so I want you to take your right arm, weave it under left, bringing your right cheek to the mat, and then I want you to walk your left arm forward. Think of breathing into your mid-back area. Walking your left hand in, press back up through tabletop. Same thing, other side. Left weaves under right, cheek to the mat, and then walk your right arm forward. And think of directing your inhale into your mid-back. Walk your right hand in, press yourself up through tabletop, and then we can come to a kneeling position. Let's finish with two deep breaths together. Inhale, let's sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, let it go. One more time, inhale, arms up. And exhale, let it go. So awesome work today, I hope you enjoyed that class. We're a little challenged, but it felt doable. And I hope maybe you learned something too. If you're doing, if you're following the whole Intro to Pilates series sequentially, up, up next is a total body beginner friendly class that puts together all the stuff we've been working on up until now. I will see you next time. <laughs>